Joseph here, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I am doing a test shot on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K Pro uh, using the Moment Anamorphic 1.33 adapter. Uh, I've got on a Sigma 35 millimeter art series lens. Uh, so the lowest or widest you can go on a Super 35 sensor uh, like the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K is uh, 35 millimeter. So uh, it also so happens that the filter thread is 67 millimeters on the 35 millimeter lens which means it is a perfect pairing for the Moment adapter. Uh, I've got a matte box on it. Uh, recording this at 6K, uh, look at the anamorphic goodness that's coming out of this. Uh, some amazing lens flare characteristics that I'm seeing out of this. Uh, and I just am really pleased thus far with it. Uh, as far as handling it, uh, it's a big chunk of glass at the end of a already big chunk of glass. Uh, so a rail system is pretty essential for this, uh, but it looks good, it feels good, uh, and it's uh, really nice to focus with. Uh, the focus throw is kind of long in some ways. Uh, for many of us who use cinema lenses and used to having uh, sort of that three quarters, two thirds of the entire way around the lens to be that, it's pretty normal for me. Um, it's a little bit hard when you're running and gunning, but if you're using a, a focus wheel on it, uh, all you have to do is just simply adapt it with a ring and there you go. Um, so far, really pleased with the way this specific setup looks. Um, I'm interested in seeing, again, the lens flare is beautiful, that gold lens flare coming through, but I'm really interested in seeing how this looks um, in church services and worship things, uh, but also just out in the world. Uh, for somebody who loves to film uh, in places with lighting and good lighting and controlled light, uh, this anamorphic lens uh, adapter might be a good fit for you. Uh, for me it is in my work, but also as someone who loves filming outdoors and getting sort of those uh, bokeh in the background from trees or from lights or having light coming in the back for those lens flares. Uh, I'm really impressed with this setup so far and really enjoying uh, all the things that I'm able to capture a little differently. The great thing about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K Pro is it has built-in ND filters, which means I can use this uh, with the matte box in the front without having to worry about having a variable ND on the front. Um, really helpful so far for that and uh, really enjoying the test shots that I have. So here's what it looks like. Uh, with the Moment Anamorphic Adapter on it uh, and how it looks here in this room. Uh, again, some really beautiful uh, circular uh, towards elliptical uh, bokeh behind me. Uh, it's not quite as much as an anamorphic lens you'd pay a lot of money for, but for an adapter uh, that I bought on Kickstarter uh, for you know relatively affordable considering these things, uh, it feels high quality. It feels uh, like it looks good, it's sharp. Uh, I'm gonna crop it in 100% here so you can see how sharp it is. Yeah, and then up in the corners. Yeah, so you want that anamorphic characteristics of uh, the elliptical uh, bokeh rather than a spherical lens. You also get some chromatic aberration and some distortion around the edges of the lens, and that's uh, so it helps people focus on what's happening in the center. You can do a lot of this in post, but when you can get it in camera, uh, it just changes how things feel. Um, I've been thinking a lot about how the world is trending towards vertical content that is shorter. And yet, inside of our world, inside of the cinema world, uh, it seems like things have moved more letterbox, like it used to be in many ways. So the more squeezed anamorphic shots like this are, uh, it tends to be something we might watch longer. Uh, this is just a theory I'm playing with in my brain, but it seems like uh, with the push in the world towards short form vertical content that's quick uh, and done and easier in some ways, harder in others to edit things down, maybe that's how our attention span is trending. I think for me, one of the reasons I love this anamorphic look and being able to get it on any of my camera bodies, any of my lenses, is that I, I want to think about longer formats. The documentary work, uh, obviously films, we will go and watch a short film uh, or just a feature length film and want to go out and change the world. Um, old movies like Ben-Hur that were approaching three hours and were these cinematography masterpieces in many ways, um, barring the labor rights violations and all the things. Uh, if you ever know the line, he killed more men than Cecil B. DeMille. That's from Blazing Saddles. It's Headley, Headley Lamar. So in epics like Ben-Hur or other things that are filmed longer formats, uh, the story takes a while to unfold. I think something I appreciate about older things, and uh, anamorphic has that kind of look of being older, um, is that people were more interested in longer things. And so, um, yeah, that's kind of the content for the video today. Uh, let me give you some more test shots here on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K Pro, and here we go. Thank you. 
that's all for the video today. Uh, thanks for watching, Joseph. And again, we'll see you in the next video. Be sure to like uh, this video, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in this. And also tell me how you found the anamorphic adapter. Uh, is it working well for your Super 35 camera or for your Blackmagic system uh, that you might use? Uh, I am super excited about it and really enjoying it so far. So again, Joseph, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. So uh, here's some lens flare with just an iPhone uh, to give you sort of a sense of how it looks coming through. Uh, now the sunlight flares that I've created uh, look pretty spectacular and some pretty through with this. So, all right, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.